this is Edward R. Murrow. We're going to talk about flying saucers. We're going to talk about them from the standpoint of reporters, not as comedians, not as sensationalists. For the past three years, a large number of perfectly sane and reliable people have been involved in this flying saucer business. Even those of us who have never seen one have become involved. We read about them, talk about them, wonder about these reports of strange phenomena in the sky. So almost from the start, CBS has been following the story. We have been collecting material on flying saucer observations for many months. Checking, cross-checking, trying to track down leads, no matter how far afield they took us. This, tonight, is our report. We frankly admit that we don't know whether flying saucers actually exist. We've never seen one. We are going to bring you the facts at hand. What they add up to, well, that's for you to decide. That's up to you. It all began just a little less than three full years ago. It began in the sky over western Washington, up there in the hip pocket of the country. Early one June morning in 1947, a C-46 Marine transport with 32 Marines aboard crashed in the vicinity of Mount Rainier. An air search was immediately organized to locate the downed plane. Among the many service and private flyers who participated in this search was Mr. Kenneth Arnold, a businessman of Boise, Idaho, a veteran pilot in forest fire control work, a man with six years' experience flying over the rugged terrain in and around Mount Rainier. Yesterday morning, we spoke to Mr. Arnold over the phone. We asked him to repeat for us, in his own words, what he saw in the sky over Mount Rainier on June 24th, 1947. We recorded what he said, and we're going to play it for you now. 